what I find compelling is it's so student-centered. And I think the model really adopts all best practices in terms of ensuring that all students can learn. I think the cohort piece of the model is very important. I think students learn, um, learn a lot from their peers. And I think their peers, they hold each other accountable in that cohort model setting. And they have, a, they have an immediate community. We hear the phrase, uh, the Doherty Family College makes us a better university. Having those students part of our community makes us a better, richer, stronger community. Uh, our DFC students are becoming student leaders during the time they're at DFC and then as they transition into the four-year program. We have DFC representation on our student government. Uh, that we have DFC representation in our club sports and in all of our uh, social and um, you know special interest clubs. So that was really important from the start. Our faculty felt very strongly that our Doherty Family College students not feel like they weren't fully a part of the University of St. Thomas. Well, the first graduation was phenomenal. I mean, everyone was in tears and we had faculty and staff come from throughout the university that, you know, were not, did not work at DFC to really be there to support those students and those families. And it was wonderful to see the large extended families come to that graduation and how proud they were of, of their children, of their siblings, of their grandchildren, of their ne nieces, nephews, whatever it might be. Uh, that first graduation was phenomenal. I don't think there was a dry eye in the house. I would tell them it will be your legacy and it will be one of the most important things that you've ever done. And um, that's certainly how I feel. The world needs more uh, opportunities, more pathways for students to realize their full potential. And this is a pathway that we know that can contribute to that. So I hope we'll see many more.